cool. Bring it back. Over. Oh my god. You can make it do all these okay. things. Yeah. All right. And the still. Thank you. Shoot here? Is that what you mean? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Jonathan. Yeah, you know Jonathan? Right. Yeah, he's the one who printed my story on the website, on the home page of. Uh, this is your camera. Okay. You want to get a photo now? Sure. One more time. You didn't point the second time. I'm Kurt Kelly from Live Video Inc. and Actors Reporter. I hope we're rolling, are we? I'm Kurt Kelly from Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. from AFM 2013. But we're going to do that over because you kicked the camera. I'm Kurt Kelly from AFM 2013, the 34th year, and Rajesh. Hi. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, you're almost there. It's Rajesh. 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 I really try to practice my Indian words. And I'm trying my American. Yeah, well, I'm doing the Indian words because I'm the voice for Sony Picks in, right. in India, so Mahindra. I got that yeah, one. Yeah, that correct. Yeah. Mobile. Correct. That one took me a long time because I kept saying mobile. They kept saying like potato. Right. Exactly, or tomato or tomato. Wow. Yeah, see? Isn't it interesting how we can speak the same language and yet we say things so differently sometimes? I think it goes for I think human beings also, like color. Yes. Or religion that we kind of the whole world is fighting about. Yeah, and if we could get over that, we might learn how to get along. But in the meantime, we use film to communicate, and you're working on some new projects. What are they? I think uh, film uh, making uh, from the beginning, cinema has been such a uh, great platform to communicate and tell stories. Mm -hmm. And now with the uh, internet and fast web streaming, in fact, what you guys are doing. Right. Uh, the projects that I've been doing uh, earlier were in Mumbai and uh, right. uh, commercial. Bollywood? Uh, yes. Okay. I mean, I'm, I, I love Bollywood. Yes. But I think it's time that we go beyond Bollywood now. Right. And I think India is ready and the world is ready. And this is what we're doing now. Mm -hmm. uh, at this first phase, uh, Boon Brand Motion Pictures is my company, the production company. Right. It's tying up with uh, uh, collaborating with uh, distributors and financiers and marketers. Los Angeles, because this is the uh, make of my life. Right. Uh, and these films that uh, we are bringing uh, are perhaps, I would say, stories originating from it. Right. Uh, but they're more in the vein of Slumdog Millionaire or uh, Exotic Medical Hotel. Things that will translate to cultures around the world, regardless of geographic boundary. Correct. Correct. Okay. Because I think the perception of like America is different in India. I mean, everybody's not an Iron Man. True. Or Sex in the City is not everybody's life. No. <laughs> so similarly, I think these films are going to uh, hopefully uh, be on a format which is more understood by Hollywood and Europe as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there are three pictures which we're launching. Uh, should I talk about it? Or? That would be a good idea since that's why I wanted to talk to you. Okay. Tell me about your films. Okay. Uh, the first film is uh, it's, uh, under $2 million project. Yes. Or Let Me Dance. Okay. Uh, which which you're going to have the actress from Kama Sutra. Right, right, right. uh, yeah, she's she's one of one of those. But I'm waiting for Kama Sutra to get over. Yes. Because uh, our film Let Me Dance is actually about child abuse. Oh. Uh, so it has a very strong message. It's uh, perhaps similar to a film which came out uh, made by another Indian director who lived in the US, uh, Mira Nair. Mm -hmm. It was called Once on Wedding. Okay. So it's fun all the way till we realize that at the end of it there is some social issue uh, growing up in India about child abuse. Uh, and uh, we're trying to make it an entertaining film, which is why we're trying to use this Playboy model uh, mm -hmm. in Chopra. So at least through that platform, people get to know what the real issues are. Right. Otherwise, it could be a very hard session to sell a, a social issue. So that's our first. 
Well, I actually believe she touched on, I don't remember if she said the name of the film, but when we interviewed her a couple of days ago, she was talking about a film where there was child abuse in it, and it's one of those hidden issues that for some reason people don't want to talk about that, or insanity, or homelessness, or even still alcohol or drug abuse. You would think, as advanced as we've become as a society, we would have woken up and realized that no one chose those things. No one said, abuse me as a job. Right, right, right. And which is why I feel, uh, whether in domestic territory uh, like India or Asia, mm -hmm. or a modern society like North America or Europe, those issues are still there. Very prevalent. Uh, uh, a film like uh, A Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Yes. Very, very breaking edge movie for, for its time when it first came out. People right. were kind of like shocked. Right. Oh, that doesn't really happen. Yes, it does. So, your other two films, are they of a similar vein, films with a message? Uh, most of my films will be about survivors and mm -hmm. hope and uh, uh, in spite of losing everything in life, we all have the courage and the choice to become who we are. Pull up by the bootstraps and get moving again. You know, it's amazing how many people in today's society, I don't know, is this true in India, but I, I see it happening more and more here in America, where people seem to have a sense of entitlement. Well, I went to school, so I showed up at work, paid me large sums of money, but they forgot the part about, I gotta work. Or the, the sense of, you know, blind eye, I don't see this, so it's not really happening. Is that happening in India, or are people still very much aware of things around them? Is it hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil? Uh, sadly, I see, uh, since I travel constantly between Mumbai and Toronto and Los Angeles, Sadly, the consumerism of uh, having more and mm -hmm. doing less is coming into country like India as well, in spite of all our spiritual so-called uh, wisdom. Uh, and I think any country, I mean, let's not be country specific, any culture, any society which starts developing, sadly it starts developing consumerism, having more and there's and no doing limit. less. And then there'll be no satisfaction. Therefore, you'll have more therapists and more broken marriages or uh, single mothers. So, uh, yeah, a lot of my friends are about that. Interesting. And you're right, it's not just a single love North America, because I travel a lot also, and I've seen that sense of entitlement happen in Europe, yeah, yeah. India, India. So it, it's something, maybe if anyone should take a look at what we're doing, it's filmmakers and television makers that maybe it's time to stop making everything about gratuitous violence, gratuitous sex, and start to get into some meaningful stuff to maybe open people's eyes to things. Because we do have that power with the media. Absolutely. I think I think as communicators, mm -hmm. uh, like you or me, uh, I live in as a filmmaker, you're also a beautiful artist. Communicate with mm -hmm. you. Know, people to your website. Absolutely. Um, uh, thank you so much for this interview. But that's great to uh, take this message to so many people. Well, this will also end up on television. Oh, great. So we can reach an even greater reach. It's the internet because with the internet we know no boundaries. Correct. Now with the internet, with a successful channel on the internet, you can have the same audience as a network television station, Absolutely. literally, but around the globe. Um, and I think that's the beautiful thing about the way technology is headed. How will that impact films like yours where now it can be seen in theaters or through distribution, video on demand, but at some point you can even be streaming this through the internet. Yeah, I think it's a perfectly timed question because right now I'm coming from this American film market, Bunkman Street is about uh, digital distribution uh -huh. for the, uh, It's almost like a revision of, of, of my uh, take on how internet, mm -hmm. social media, and the web series that you are talking about right. are going to be amazingly brilliant. And then there's not going to be any censorship. I mean, of course, it's not going to be going to be violence or sexuality. But right. if people can use it for pornography, I'm saying, you know, it's right. a strong word. But uh, why can't we use that for making this world a better place? And I think we are there. I think after whatever happened in North America in the last five years, all across the world. Right. I think I think as filmmakers, we are ready to make new kinds of cinema. Mm -hmm. uh, keep holding on to old wisdom as well. But try to push the frontier of surviving and, and commonality. Right. Patience and acceptance. Okay, if we can get over my government versus your government. Correct. Get over my God versus your God. Correct. Absolutely. 
whether you're atheist or not, there's something, if you believe in a God of any kind or not, you can't argue that there was something greater than all of us that somehow evolved or created us. Right. So if we can get that commonality out of the way and stop all the differences and find the similarities. Oh, I would love to. Being a filmmaker, I would, and I would, I'm looking forward to people in Los Angeles, some of my friends earlier, and uh, looking for more collaborators to come on the same platform. Uh, in fact, uh, you could be our voice for this collective club. Of, you know, would love to. Thank you for the invitation. Love to. Um, in my mind, my wheels were turning because I don't know if you know, I also produce film. And um, some of the projects you're working on, we'll be talking about soon. It may not be right here right now, because we don't want to give away all the secrets, but I have a feeling you and I will be working together for years to come. It would be a blessing. Thank you very much. Have a great day. We'll be back with more from the 34th Annual American Film Market. Let's just call it the Film Market, because there are people here from nearly 400 countries. I think it's over 350 oh, this year. Right. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 that's films. There's not 350 countries. I think there's 200, close to 200 countries. Because there's only like 235 in the world. I don't it? know. Like a lot of people ask all these people who come here from different countries, like, who yeah. are you or who am I? I said, Did you, have, have you ever asked Google? Like, who is Google? Google is everywhere. Thank you. Exactly. So let's take that. Uh, and somebody could open a new island and make a country tomorrow. So hey, there's people from a lot of countries around the world. Oh, we have that country. It's called Earth. Earth. That's a good concept. We all are similar. Residents of, of the planet Earth. Yeah. Right. So where do we get aliens from? We'll be back with more in a moment. <laughs> Thank you so very Thank much. Thank you. All Absolutely. Right. So I'm going to hand you this and your name and your company. And you're watching it.